The primary purpose of punishment is to seek retribution for the harm caused by a criminal. However, traditional methods such as prison, capital punishment, and corporal punishment may not be the most effective or reliable. As an alternative, some suggest inducing a reversible coma and measuring punishment in terms of years lost. You're on a stroll, minding your own business, when someone jumps out of the bushes with a gun in hand and demands your wallet, phone, and watch. Days later, the police find the criminal spending lavishly and boasting about the score. In the courtroom, the judge turns to you and asks what punishment you want to give. Considering the concept of justice and punishment, it raises the question of what kind of punishment would be fitting for the crime committed. The article explores the idea that punishment is meant to harm the criminal in return for their alleged actions, and justice assumes a connection between the crime and the punishment. The article presents the argument that the current range of acceptable punishments is limited to fines, community service, or imprisonment, but questions why more radical alternatives are not considered. The main focus of punishment is seen as retributive, aiming to restore balance for the wrongdoing. It delves into the limitations and drawbacks of the prison system as a form of punishment. The prison system is questioned in terms of its effectiveness in causing harm to the criminal, and whether it is consistent and fitting as a punishment. The concept of punishing a changing person over decades is also examined. The article proposes an alternative form of punishment through induced comas, emphasizing the reversibility and standardization of the punishment. It contrasts the drawbacks of prison with the advantages of a reversible coma, as a measurable and acceptable payment for a wrongdoing. The idea challenges the modern sensibilities and preferences for imprisonment over more direct forms of punishment, involving harm to the body. The author encourages a reconsideration and re-examination of the concept of punishment, questioning the assumption that only one kind of punishment is the best. It suggests that with advancements in science, technology, and evolving societal values, it may be time to explore new approaches to ensuring justice.